Emerald One is uh, the first large prospective randomized phase three trial uh, investigating uh, the combination uh, of uh, chemoembolization or TACE and uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, this is a trial that has uh, three treatment arms. Uh, the first one uh, includes durvalumab, bevacizumab, and uh, chemembolization. The second arm uh, includes durvalumab and chemembolization. The third arm is chemembolization alone, because chemembolization for this patient population with disease uh, limited to the liver uh, and suitable for uh, radical therapy with surgery or ablation, chemobilization is the standard of care. So the primary endpoint of this study will be progression-free survival for the combination of TACE and Durvalumab versus TACE alone. And secondary endpoints include assessment of progression-free survival for the combination of durbalumab, bevacizumab, and TACE versus TACE alone, as well as additional analysis, including, of course, overall survival. Emerald 2 is a trial designed in the adjuvant settings. So this uh, prospective randomized phase 3 study will recruit patients who receive the curative therapy with surgical resection or local ablation, this patient will be randomized to receive uh, uh, in one arm uh, durvalumab and bevacizumab, uh, in another arm uh, durvalumab alone, and the third arm uh, is placebo. Currently, there is no established adjuvant regimen in place for this patient population. The primary endpoint will be to assess recurrence-free survival for uh, durvalumab as compared to placebo, and secondary endpoints include the assessment of recurrence-free survival for durvalumab and bebacizumab versus placebo, and of course additional uh, uh, secondary endpoints like time to recurrence and others. Checkmate 9DX is um, uh, another study in the adjuvant setting, so it's a uh, phase three uh, a randomized placebo-controlled study recruiting patients who underwent radical therapy with uh, resection or ablation. And these patients will be randomized to receive nivolumab or placebo with a primary endpoint to assess recurrence-free survival.